Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to import the hair to Unreal. And uh, one of the first things we are going to need is these content examples. I will provide the link in the description so you can download it, it's free. And this is a good, this is a very good uh, thing to have in your projects because there is a lot of examples of how to use uh, the features in Unreal. So what I did, it's uh, I created, well, this is the content examples open, and then I have another instance with an empty project. So what I'm gonna do is go to the content examples. Uh, I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna look for, uh, let me see, characters, example content. We want to go to character rendering, and then we have eyes and we have hair. And from here, what I want to do is I want to, um, let's say, <laughs> I want to steal the material. And I'm using this one, but you could use, for example, the hair from um, MetaHumans. MetaHumans has two, two different materials, one for the Olympic hair and one for the hair cards. So you could be using that one. Maybe that one is a little bit more uh, like updated than this one. This one, I think it's from uh, Unreal 4, but yeah, that's up to you. Uh, I'm gonna do uh, here uh, assets and I'm gonna migrate. And then, uh, yeah, just making sure it's, I just want the, the material and then I want the, I don't want the, well, let's, let's bring the, the hair clamp as well and the textures. And this is my, uh, this is my uh, Unreal project, so content, select folder. Now we can close this. And uh, let's import our hair. So uh, click import. And then here on here, actually we can, from the, from the previous uh, video, I named that to uh, CC4, but actually we could just say uh, exports. And now I can select my hair, open. I'm gonna bring it as a, as a, as a static mesh, but if it was attached to a character, it would be a skeletal mesh. Uh, import all. No smoothing, that's fine. And here, uh, let's bring our, we have our hair and we have our scalp. Let's make sure we are in zero, zero. And that's our hair. And because we have our materials here, what I'm gonna do, uh, materials, I'm gonna create a copy. Uh, so I'm gonna move it here, content, copy here. And I'm creating a copy because the hair, uh, if I open, if I create, now I'm gonna create an instance. So if we go to the parameters of the hair, you're gonna see that we have root and alpha are uh, merge together, are packed together, and the ID. The ID is not a big deal because we have already a map for the ID, but we want to separate those two because usually, usually all the software that we can use for hair, it's gonna create different uh, maps for each, for the roots and for the alpha. So having it packed, it's extra work that I don't really want to do. So it's, that's very easy. I just have to come to the material, to the parent, and I'm gonna separate it. So if I come here, this is the unique, the ID, that's fine. But for, that's the ID, rotten alpha, okay? 
So alpha, obviously it's using the alpha channel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, duplicate this and I'm gonna call it alpha. And then I'm gonna put this one here and the UV is here. And we need to do the same, root and alpha. So this one, I'm gonna call it roots. And then we can, we have to come back here. I'm gonna copy, control C. And then control V, because now our alpha, it's this one. And um, what else? I think that's all. So we basically just added a new parameter with a different, we, we separated the, um, the textures. So I'm gonna save. And now our hair instance is gonna have a, uh, an extra, an extra uh, slot for, so we have our alpha, we have our roots and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, apply the, uh, the child to our hair and obviously it's not looking good because the, the maps are not updated. So open the child and yeah, we need to, we need to, and this, this one we can remove it. And we are gonna do the same for the, well, not the same, but we are gonna create a material for the scalp, but I'm gonna bring, let's bring the, um, let's bring, I'm removing the textures. I'm gonna create a new folder. Let's call that hair. I'm gonna, let's move everything. I, I'm gonna organize it a little bit for you. And then this is a static mesh. This is static mesh. This is a material. And then now it's everything is organized. Let's create a new folder for the textures. And let's uh, here, here textures. Actually here, uh, I was gonna bring everything, but we only need uh, the alpha, we need the ID, and we need the root. And then uh, the scalp. Let's grab all, all of that. Probably most of them, we are not gonna need them, but Let's save and now let's jump again here um, and let's select. So the alpha is this one, the roots are is this one and the ID is this one. Save and now we have our hair here and the good thing is uh, this material, the instance, has a ton of uh, settings that you can play with. You can change the color, you can change the opacity, you can change uh, the wind, you can change, I mean, because usually, I know that hair, yeah, that's true, that this, this hair doesn't move. But you can change uh, the backlit, you can change uh, a ton of different a ton of different settings. That's why I like to use this material. Uh, the roughness. So it has a ton of nice settings that you can you can use and modify. Here are the colors. So yeah, very very interesting. Uh, and to finish, uh, I'm just gonna. Uh, create this material. Oh, that's the that's the scalp. Let's um, the scalp. And now I'm gonna remove this. Actually, this one we can leave that one. This one it's gonna be the color. 
and uh, here textures we are gonna need for sure let's add the alpha let's do what else we have the thickness no and the normal and we can use the the amino cushion as well so this is what the alpha the alpha here we can we have to come here and then select the the blend mode is going to be translucent and we want to use our alpha to opacity and this is the amino occlusion so what I want to do is I'm going to multiply um, and this is just a basic material you can I mean you can go to Google obviously and look for like more advanced scalp materials but I think that's probably good enough and then um, for the normal or oh, here we can leave it like this if you don't want to have the light affecting your um, your scalp that usually probably that's uh, the best option let me see it's not is that the alpha one Ambient occlusion. Oh, okay. So actually, we can plug this one here. Ambient occlusion can go plug directly into the ambient occlusion. The missive color. Just trying to. Okay. So now, uh, yeah. That now that works has been updated. Okay. Um, and the color probably we want a color that it's similar to the hair I'm gonna leave it darker so yeah you have you have your hair there and it's pretty optimized and yeah, that's how I usually do my hair. If I'm not using Character Creator, that's one of the quick way to have nice looking hair in Unreal Engine. I hope this uh, tutorial was uh, helpful to you. If you have any questions, any suggestions, you want to see more hairstyles, please just leave your comments in the, yeah, just leave your comments below and I'll be making more uh, more tutorials if that's something that uh, you are interested in so uh, thank you so much for watching and see you soon bye bye